Bruce, you guys look like a completely different hockey team. What did you like about the uh, the effort today? Well, I mean, uh, we didn't sag after they scored the first goal, and uh, uh, it's hard not to like uh, the Ek Kun and uh, Felino line today. I mean, young guys giving us a lot of energy. I thought it was great. To kind of put the big boys on the top too, but that it was the third line that came in and delivered tonight. What does that say to you? It says that you can put the, you know, I mean, it's a one game thing, but if it work, you'll see it see tomorrow. But if you can play them against the other team's better lines and <clears throat> and shut them down, that allows the other lines to, to go free a little bit. When did you start to, um, after last season with Felino, grow an appreciation for him? Well, you know what? I thought the last 20 games of the year last year, he was really good for us. And um, and we talked more and more about him being a, a penalty killer in Buffalo and what well, was pretty good at it. So I told him in the in the meeting, in our exit meeting, to be, to be ready because I'm going to start him killing penalties right away. And I think that that role gave him uh, an understanding that I've got, I'm more than just a fourth line guy I'm a penalty killer and everything else and I think it's uh, it's given him more confidence especially the last 10 15 games it also seems like he's getting a voice in the room I mean do, do you think I mean he's you know the brother of a captain obviously Mike Felino is one heck of a leader and, and, a, and a coach I mean do you, do you think that he has that in him well I mean uh, I, I think the genes are there mm -hmm. you know I mean uh, Nick's the captain in Columbus his dad was a captain many times over um, so uh, it's there <clears throat> the thing about being uh, having a voice is you have to feel that you're uh, <clears throat> contributing and the more you contribute the more you can talk and you see it if you're not playing well you have a tendency to keep really quiet and and I think he's he's speaking up in the room these days he's your thoughts on Dubnik's play and a type of game where he can come back and play again tomorrow um, he you know what after the first shot there that uh, uh, um, I thought he made a couple big saves at the end of the first period to keep it a 1-1 game. Or, and then <clears throat> I thought he made good saves, you know, big saves in the second period. He was sharp. The, and, the, and the saves might not l have looked tough, but the ones that were along the ice, they, they were going through bodies, so he couldn't see them. So those were big. I mean, he couldn't do anything on the second goal, um, but he stood tall for us, and we need that. You can go back. So you'll play it, go with him tomorrow, Bruce, sir. Didn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> I just said he played good. What's different about Keck in this turn. This turn. Um, well, you know what? Uh, uh, you hate to see what happened to Miko me, uh, happen, but I think Eck thinks he's got a bigger role, and this is his chance to cement something that I can play that bigger role rather than be a fourth line center, and he's. Uh, uh, He's doing it, and I think uh, the, the him and Cunny both went down there, and they knew they were going to play a lot of minutes down there, but they didn't know they were coming back. So I think the appreciation for coming back is 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 pretty high as well. Is it just coincidence that all these road afternoon games seem to suit your veteran group? I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe we got so many kids that uh, they want to go to bed early and. But they're up in the middle of the afternoon. I have no idea. So. What do you like about Greenway's game, and what would you like to see more of out of him? I, I mean, I said it all year: consistency. He's a big, strong body. Knows how to make a play. I mean, a lot of good things. He's he's going to score 25 in this league, maybe as early as next year. But I mean, he's got to be more consistent to do it. I think. Did you know this was 900 for you? Somebody told me today. Just today. Yeah, just today. So I didn't. I had no idea coming into the game. You'll after. Well, I hope, yeah. I hope at the end of the year, I go, yeah, this was the one that got us in. What, uh, what do you think of Grand Line at center? Uh, I thought he worked really hard below the circles. I thought he, in our end. I thought he was, that's where I was worried about him. Um, <clears throat> the, the, the offensive thing there is still not there yet, but I thought he did a really good job in our zone.